Hi everybody, uh, here I am again, uh, once again, as you can see through the window, uh, it's almost morning and I'm making this video late again, but I'm busy and if I don't do it um, after I've done everything else, then I just never do it. As is evidenced by the fact that I haven't done a video in a week, um, I keep thinking I'm going to make, you know, these genius connections, this grand manifesto in my videos, and maybe that's true. Uh, except while I'm waiting for that, it um, I just too much happens and I, I lose track of things and there's so much to say. Here's my T-shirt, which is the best. I mean, they're all the best. But Biggie Stardust, come on, it's the funniest thing ever. Um, so I guess I gotta just be streamlined and cut this in. You know, these videos into into more. Uh, bite-sized chunks so um, there are some things that I left unsaid from before I did the injection um, that were interesting uh, might as well just get them out there and move on um, uh, at one time before you know a few days before I took the shot I think um, I think this was after work one day um, I would, Julie drove me home, so it must have been right after work. I mean, she doesn't usually. But um, she picked me up, and I said, I started crying. Um, it's the only time I've really, like, full on cried in this whole process, or actually in years and years and years. Um, and uh, that was cathartic, I guess. But, you know, I said things like, um, can't stand feeling invisible and uh, you know I'm sorry for hurting other people in the pursuit of my own happiness um, I also sort of realized that a lot of you know uh, I have a you know you get into routines telling people about yourself and you and you sort of um, come up with a PR campaign for certain issues and I, I keep telling people I had been telling people um, I'm not too concerned with the social fallout and that I would just, um, within my circles, and uh, I'm glad to tell everybody, except I just don't want to uh, screw up my work. And that's totally true. But um, a lot of times, I said that what was in my mind was this one karaoke where I think I'll get um, fired when they find out. And uh, I realized in that, you know, moment that uh, it, I am concerned about the money, but. I realized it's because I really, I really care about those people. Uh, I'd like to go into it more. It's a unique situation. They're an older crowd, and they're also an old New York crowd and an ethnic crowd. And um, I'm really blessed and grateful to be included by them. They consider me family, and I'm really grateful to be uh, considered an uh, an insider and get to observe their culture. Uh, I'm thinking of New York culture, you know, uh, which is a thing. It's a specific thing from a specific time, and it's um, something I'm very passionate about. Anyway, uh, I feel so grateful to be a part of that, and you know, I realized it wasn't just the money. It's that I uh, I don't want to lose those people. I mean, people come and go, and jobs come and go, but I uh, I care about them. Too. I mean that's that's part of that's part of my struggle there. Uh, let's see. Um, my uh, my last therapy before I did the injection uh, had some interesting stuff. Um, my therapist at the end my therapist said uh, because I was doing the sperm banking despite not really having the money for it and despite um, not really wanting children. She thought it was a really good sign that um, I'm in a healthy place me mentally in regards to transition, and that um, uh, it's a it's a it's a really good sign that I am op I'm open to change, and I am. You know, who knows what's going to happen? And I could freak out and realize I'm not doing the right thing, but I um, I'm still no regrets. Uh, nine, ten days into hormones. Um, and anyway, in, in conjunction with that, as I was walking out the door, she said, uh, she said she thought I'd be a great mom. <laughs> and uh, that's not something I've ever aspired to, really, but it made me really happy. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why. 
Um, but hey, why not? I mean, I think I'd be a good mom. Uh, all right. Uh, I met up with another girl from the forums, and it's really great, um, always via video or, or, or meeting up with people, to see the parallels. And, and uh, you know, it's like a support group. Like, you feel more normal when you realize other people have been, you know, walked the same path. So uh, we laughed about our families, you know, my, my uh, the similar things that people say, and you know, uh, her mom and my dad s said similar things, like, you know, I recognize that other people do this, and I'm okay with that, but uh, I just don't see it in you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I touched on this in the video before. Uh, it's just funny. Uh, it's just funny the parallels and. Uh, you know, I, I, there's ways in which I, I uh, have not expressed myself the way I, I might have felt motivated to, and also this is acceptable behavior for a girl, so sorry, Dad. Uh, and uh, also my therapist uh, more recently uh, ran me through, you know, this is something most people are aware of, but ran me through in official capacity, like the stages of grief. And um, and just to recognize that and be sympathetic to it, and I think that means my dad's in the bargaining phase, um, not that phrase in particular, but he also said um, on one phone call he's like, well I thought I thought maybe you should uh, go on a retreat for a while and think this through, and I was like, all right, and I mean I'm not gonna do that, but cool. And then when I talked to him, and he hadn't, I mean I might, I told him what I was up to, but he didn't realize that I already started. Um, the hormones, and he said, um, he said, uh, oh, I thought you'd go on a retreat for two months, and, and you know, before you did anything, and I was like, well, that's ridiculous, because I have a job, and I don't have the money for that, um, and I have a life, and I'm sorry, but, uh, I think that's, I think that's just dad bargaining, I'm, uh, what do we got? Uh, also, um, the girl I met up with and I uh, had a common pattern of uh, doing things to the max. Uh, I think that throughout my life, I I thought subconsciously, if I didn't, if I couldn't be myself, that everything else in my life would be perfect. Like it just it was like this compulsion to make everything else perfect, and. Uh, and she felt the same. She'd been in the military, and uh, we kind of arrived on this idea that we did everything to the max. And I do, you know, I, I think that applies to me. I, I um, have a tendency to obsess over problems and solve them and, and uh, do, the, do everything the best I can. And in the past, maybe sometimes, you know, try to win, try to beat people at, at endeavors, which I'd like to talk about further in one second. Oh, jeez, this is running long already. I want to keep these things short. Uh, I'll skip some stuff, then I'll come back to you in a future video. Uh, but I would like to talk to you about things that have changed on hormones. I should have led with this. But, um, first of all, I've had a decreased sex drive. I mean, I had a pretty low sex drive compared to other uh, male-bodied individuals. Uh, already, but um, it has reduced a lot, and actually, I think it's really um, an interesting opportunity to uh, 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 consider being less afraid of my own passion. You know, I, I think I did. I mean, I'm only realizing this now, but I think I did make an effort to cap myself. You know, to ignore certain kinds of. Uh, I mean, urges is a terrible word, but. Uh, it's uh, it, not describing what I mean exactly, but but I um, it, I think unacknowledged parts of male physicality uh, encourage me to be more reserved than I think I'd like to be. Um, also, I've been pretty exhausted. I thought it was because I've been busy and not sleeping enough, but I think it's the, I mean I'm pretty sure it's the the stuff, the goods, and. Uh, I've been less aggressive. I, again, I've been, you know, I started out less aggressive than, than, than other guys, but, and there's many social and biological factors that, you know, as to why men or women 
can be com- you know competitive, but I feel a lot less competitive, and it's great. I feel positive. I feel energetic. I feel ambitious, but I don't feel the need to dominate somebody. I didn't really previously, but like if somebody got a job that I didn't get, you know, I would feel. Uh, sad for being passed up but also why is it that fucking guy and and uh, now I just feel the first <laughs> I I mean I didn't always feel that way and I, I think everybody you know a lot of people work hard and, and get what they deserve so uh, I'm gonna stop I keep making these when I'm exhausted there's plenty more shit to say and I'll say it in another video thank you very much Oh, and you can see my beard. <laughs> There's my beard. You like that? It, it, it's alive. <laughs> okay, goodbye.